Oh, you want to hear that classic sound? Fuck yeah. Oh, that's good shit, man. Oh, God. <sighs> oh, I think it just jizzed in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> you heard me. You heard me talking <laughs> to your mom. Did she say you sounded a little creepy? Droopy. <laughs> Droopy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like yeah, it was just my spirit was broken. That's all. No big deal. I swear out every single can of the fucking Sapporo we buy. <laughs> fucking like you got you got drink some of the read before. Mm. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. From the land of the rising From sun, the land of the rising a lone sun. warrior was catapulted to uh -oh. a magical realm. Oh, uh -oh. Jesus! A world on Come on! Oh, okay. And its people called desperately Stay. for a hero. Now, only Musashi can thwart the mad designs of a ruthless corporation. One man, one chance. I think my death. <sighs> one chance. My sister one would have liked seeing this. At least this animation. Yeah, she was. She absolutely said this is like Tengen. Opa. Yeah, that's what I, yeah, I was gonna say that. Um, and welcome back to you guys. We're gonna play what I've considered my favorite game for a long time. Uh, Samurai Legend Musashi. Um, yeah, and I, I, every time I'm on, like, TikTok Live and somebody asks me, it's like, what's your favorite game? I have to, like, alright, let me tell you about this game from fucking the early 2000s. Once upon um, a time. Once upon a time. And yeah, I think, I think one thing that, I, the reason, I think some of the reason I like things like Kurikuri and um, Tengen Tapo is is fr probably from this stems from this a little bit the animation style because um, it, it's, it's got the very very thick like black line but very like almost fluid you know still you know what it is um, it's not even that it's well yes like the the style the wild style because there's so much motion mm -hmm. so much activity going on yeah but also like. With, hey, hey. with that game, it's it's a very like oh, oh. the game has also always had like really like colorful character designs. I would say it might be the um yeah yeah. Uh, for the record, we're playing this on the PS2. Yep. Or my old PS2, so a lot of the equipment is. A lot of the hardware is incredibly old. Yeah. Much like even uh, even the new stuff that's trying to make it work. Much like our first playthrough of um, Mega Man's Mega Man Eight. I've actually been kind of excited to do this for since we started the channel. It's just getting everything to a point where it could all work it. together. But yeah, no, I've. Uh... Okay. Oh, yes. All right. Let's... So let me tell you my experience with this game. Mm -hmm. I went to GameStop. Yeah. In the early two thousands. I was with my sister, and we were looking around, and so I picked up this game, and I forget what other game I was going to buy. It was between this and other, this other game. Mm -hmm. Went up to the counter, asked the guy, so which game is better? And the guy responds, the other game is better, because he said this game was garbage. Sorry, what was the other game? I don't remember. Oh. That's the thing. So I was just like, oh, well, I was a resounding, like, fuck you mm -hmm. to this game. Yeah. Okay? And so I left it at that. Came back another time. This this game was gone. Someone had had bought it or whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, thought nothing of it. And then n realizing that Zach has this game now, I'm like, oh, now I can finally see what this game was all about. Yeah. I don't know what the big hullabaloo was because so far this game looks like really oh good PS2, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Right. I know. I know. Um. I know. Fuck. When did this come out? Um. I think it was like late 90s. Mm hmm. I can also understand why this guy might have, this person might have had gripes or whatever. Mm -hmm. Because, like, he probably wasn't like a JRPG or like fan or like J, you know, just like any like Japanese like style like, like mm -hmm. game. Because I do remember like when PS2 came out, like the big thing was the big, the big thing was had been Xbox and like Call of Duty, Halo. Stuff mm. like that. That was 2005. Huh. Yeah, yeah like especially especially Halo and stuff. Yeah. Because really, I know like for PS2, like the big games were like um, Final Fantasy. <laughs> no, not not eight. It's, it's it was ten. Mm -hmm. Ten ten was uh PS2 time. They had that. They had uh, oh, that's right. Holy crap! Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto had had. Been like sp like spewing out games left and right. Mm, yeah, yeah, and stuff. I think 2005 was like San Andreas. 
Mm. I I want to say it's San Andreas. Mm. I could be wrong. I, I gotta look that up. I thought you would be more reasonable. I wish I could turn off the the spoken voice, but it's fine. Uh, oh, because well, there's the. You can, anyway, you can keep the you can keep the you can keep the picture and stuff. We can get rid of the audio. Just pull on the audio cable. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you absolutely could do that if you really wanted to. Um, um, so the whole premise is that well, we need a hero to save our planet, so we're gonna pull someone from out of time and space, basically. To, we're isekai somebody. <laughs> Essentially, that's exactly what this is. It's an isekai game, um, and so they pick Mimoto Musashi, who's like kid kid Mimoto Musashi. Um, Let's see. Oh no, Grant! Uh, San Andreas came out in two thousand and four. San Andreas came out in two thousand four. Yeah, it came out a year before this. Holy crap! I guess okay. Let me let me narrow the search down. PS two, mm -hmm. and here we go in the games. tutorials. Oh yes, two thousand and five. I think there was a. And when did when did King of Hearts come out? Now that I think about it, that was like. Oh, you know what? That was it. I think yeah. it was between Kingdom Hearts and this. Well, okay. and I and I loathe Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've told you a billion times. I, I hate I hate Kingdom Hearts. Uh -huh. So yeah, that's why I, that's why he said yeah, get Kingdom Hearts. I'm like, oh okay. Mm. And so begrudgingly, I got it. To be fair, I think I. Mm, to be fair, it's it's, it's, it's a great game. Yeah, it's, exactly. It's, it's so. all preference. Okay. All right. How do I? But I know like I know Kingdom Hearts got like this big like big huge fan base and stuff because it's like you know it's a. It's a square game, right? Yeah. And so, like, they had, like, all, like, the Final Fantasy cameos. Mm -hmm. Characters. And, you know, like, people like Disney, yeah? Yeah, totally. So, but me, like, I, I mean, you and I are definitely probably going to play Kingdom Hearts at one point. Okay. But. Oh, and I, I think I can't double jump. But, the like, way. I, but how do I what I hated was, like, those Mickey Mouse feet. Yeah, the, the sort of oversized feet. I mean, which yeah. this guy, this game kind of has, too. No, but oh, you know what, it though? Okay. Like, it works with the style, because, like, the hands, like, like you know, anime characters, like, they're all out, out of proportion. Mm -hmm. This looks, like, straight up like a comic. Yeah. You know, so, like, it's, and with, like, the thick lines and stuff, and the baggy clothes, mm -hmm. it works. It works in its favor. Yeah. But you look at, like, I look at Kingdom Hearts, and I'm just kind of like, he looks too realistic to be wearing, like, like, giant, giant elephant Titus feet. Yeah. Um, let's see. Two thousand five. Run and move. Move the camera. They Press had to jump. Call of Duty two. They had Star Wars Battlefront two. A cutload of Madden games. Um. Oh, Shadow of the Colossus came out in two thousand five. Devil May Cry three came out in two thousand five. Wow. Shit. Oh. Um. The third Sly Cooper game. Oh, you know what? They had mm. Dragon Ball. Uh, Budokai Tenkaichi. That's on the lock that was games. another. That was another like decent game that everyone enjoyed. Oh god damn! Freaking Mortal Kombat Shaolin monks. Freaking freaking garbage. Oh, and we had Love Katamari. Hmm. Nice. Nice. Yeah, they had they had quite a bit of stuff. Those were like all the decent like PS2 games. <laughs> really, they have a bunch yeah. of other, like garbagey shit, like a bunch of like Madden and. I think that's probably whatever. one of the reasons that this game wasn't as. Uh didn't get the love that I, I personally feel like it deserves is because it was it had to contend with a lot of other like now classic games yeah you know um but yeah this this will always hold a, a special place in my heart no i mean um, this looks this minions, looks fun the closest one l1 to the, like the attacks like yeah it's, it's just very it's very stylized and i'm i'm i like the character designs honestly yeah it's, it's charming yeah If if we ever get the Wii to work, yeah. and I, I don't know if I don't think I own it anymore, uh, okay. <laughs> but if I if if I do, mm -hmm. or if even like we can get somehow manage to like hook up the PS Vita, okay, we should totally play uh, Muramasa. You would freaking love that game, Muramasa, Muramasa the Demon Blade. Okay, it's I, I recognize the name, but tell me what's the game about. You, you play uh, one of two stories, so you either play, either play like this dude who steals no like the crazy demon blade, or loses his memory, mm -hmm. or you play this girl that had died and her, her or her soul has been like, I'm just her, her soul leaves her body and like this famous like, uh, like Ronin like takes over uh, her body. 
Okay. And goes around going for revenge or something like that. Hmm. But uh, what you do is you just go around, you kill a bunch of demons hmm. and monsters, and then you collect level. like you slowly collect better and better swords until you get the, the famous Muramasa blade. Hmm. Nice. And then and then eventually both both story paths converge into one. Mm -hmm. It's it's a it's a really good game. I, I enjoyed it. It was for the Wii. Oh, I played it, I played it so damn much. Oh yeah, yeah. But it's fun. What makes it super fun is it's a side it's a side scroller and it it was all like watercolored style like mm -hmm. it had that Japanese brush style. Yeah, and stuff. It's it's a really fucking beautiful game. I don't know why they never ported it to like the Switch mm -hmm. or the PlayStation itself. Maybe we need to start a campaign. <laughs> I, I mean, I would love like, them. Like that's yeah. you know that's one of the games they should bring back and stuff, especially for like the Wii. Sharp and du duplicating because like it was just really fun using like the nunchuck and stuff to like you you literally just flick the controller and you just watch your character just zoom in the air back and forth and shit. Mm -hmm. It's just there's just something so cathartic about watching your character freaking like do a crazy combo just because you're flicking the <laughs> flicking yeah. the D pad essentially or the joystick. Oops. That was an X. <laughs> oh, so the yeah. flowers are platforms. Nice. Yeah. He, he they weren't available before. They don't let you double jump yet? Um, I think I get a double jump eventually, but... Oh, right. Mm -hmm. This I, is, this I, is I, a dude, really beautiful game. Right? I can't believe I just, like this game got dumped on. Like, yeah. It has the charm of... Oh, the hold on. Let me fix the controllers. The sticks are inverted. Okay. Don't. It has like the charm of like a PS2 game, or can I do that? And like a really good PlayStation, like PS1 game. It's like it's like cross. It's like in between those. Mm -hmm. You know, like I mean PS2, like you know, if you push if you push the graphics and stuff, and the hardware, you can you get something. You get stuff like uh, Final Fantasy 12, yeah. where they have like the realistic looking designs. Yeah. And, you know whatever, but. This is just like a comic book for me. Yeah. And then it just, it's beautifully rendered. Uh, yeah, the, I mean, once you know what you want to be, mm -hmm. like, go for it, I guess. Is, yeah. That's the point. That's, oh, that's, oops. I didn't mean to, sorry. <laughs> I thought it was like a Fuck pot. Him, he didn't, fuck him, he doesn't need both eyes. <laughs> I thought it was a random pot, like, in the in the morning. Or in the middle of the I would the say forest. the only annoying thing about this Carrying. is, like, how much tutorial there is to do, but what yeah. game doesn't have tutorial, right? Exactly, yeah. And uh, I mean, the, the best way to do it is like in game, like just knock it out as fast you know, as possible. Exactly, like <laughs> <laughs> yes. No. Oh wait. Oh, it gets better. Hold on. Now rub my belly for me. <laughs> <laughs> toss me. In toss me. In oh, you have to toss me. <laughs> toss me. <laughs> oh, do you have to? Oh, you yeah, have to put them down. Okay. Mm -hmm. I thought you had to toss them and then jump down and pick oh, them no. up. <laughs> no, I, I think you can jump with... Uh, you can jump with him. Okay. Um, I th I'm pretty sure you can jump with so carrying somebody. Um, but it's just that you gotta... Attack. I mean, you can attack, <laughs> you can hit people with them and then... Oh, wait, wait. Where did... You have to solve this puzzle, whatever it is. Do you have to bring them along and chuck them into the barrier that you can't break? Uh, no, the, I have to go. I have to go the other way. Oh, okay, I think. So I guess my next question is: Have you beaten this game? Oh yeah. Okay, cool. Um, and that's not that's not what I meant to do at all. Oh, there you go. So you this go. game is for babies then. <laughs> it's for children. <laughs> um. Yeah. No. And and in fact, when we moved into our when we moved into our apartment, this was the like we set up. Uh, we set up the TV. <laughs> Mm -hmm. This is before we had any like major furniture. Like we had shelves for our pantry and stuff. Okay. Um, I don't think we didn't even have like a couch at this point. Okay. Um, but I think I was like, oh, you I gotta... got a sword. Oh shit! Maybe. I think I do need to pick him up. You need to pick him. I knew it. <laughs> oh, damn it! Come up. Um, but yeah, we, we like we had our we had our TV. I had the the PS2, and I just I set it up, and I was playing this. I played this and drank some beer, and that was. Like the first, first so, day into the apartment. So like what we're doing now, except now you're recording and I'm here to, to judge. To yeah. judge. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can't judge this game harshly because again, this this game just looks like, it looks like yeah. it looks like fun. This look, this encapsulates all like the fun of like old PlayStation for me right now. Yeah, right. It's very it's very nostalgic. No, you have to put him on the spot. Close enough. That's, no, Zach, put him in the middle. God damn it. You failed this puzzle. <laughs> I failed the puzzle. Look, you got Cloud's, you got Cloud's Hardedge, babe. <laughs> yeah. 
It's an ore. The great ore. Yeah. You know, because the story with Kojiro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I found you in the forest. You had a great ore beside you, so I stole it and hid it away. So I improved it for you, however you like it. It's a gift from me to you. Press triangle to do a big damage, but it's heavy and slow. Be sure you'll use a katana sometimes also. Nah, meow, meow. <laughs> great ore is very powerful. See the red gauge on top left corner? That's your mystical power gauge. Unleashing the ore's latent power uses some of the, some MP. Press L2 and, and triangle. triangle at the same time to perform. Oh, you got scrap? Oh. So clearly, clearly he's a, he's a villain. Yeah! <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Clearly he's a villain because he's summoning enemies. Yeah. Not bad. That was a maelstrom. A real eye opener, eh? The best save latent power for a pinch. Use too much and all your MP all gone. And your MP all gone. Cause like I look at the, I'm looking at this game like this. This is definitely a game that could have been on the PS3 and it would have been okay. Yeah. Now at long last, I teach you the greatest trick: duplication. You can dupe enemies into showing a secret. This is the, this is what I've talked about before. It's something. This is another thing I mentioned. Every time I bring it, somebody brings up like my favorite game. This is what I mentioned that I that you can lock onto opponents and copy their moves, and then you just add it to your move set. Okay. Um, has a, an ability you can duplicate. Target circle uh, is blue, and you can uh, lock on. Once full, you're ready to dupe. Uh, an enemy attack, look for a sign. Then you press uh, try, uh, square quick, do right, and you see how to perform that ability. Time stop when you try. There was not There was one of the Guilty Gear games that came off PS2, uh, Guilty Gear Isuka. Mm -hmm. So the base game was just it's essentially just you... You like you battle royale it with like X amount of opponents and stuff like per stage, and eventually like you, for, every time you do damage you like level up. So once you hit once you hit the max level, you fight the final boss, you beat him, you beat you, you finish you finish like the arcade mode or whatever, the basic mode, and then they have like kind of like a almost like a story mode, and what it is is that you play uh, the character Robokai. Mm -hmm. And so, Oops, when you and he's already dead. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> uh, but yeah, when you when you beat each enemy, what mm. happens is like you get like money, and you go to a shop, and Robokai's thing is that he can copy moves of the other the other character roster. Oh, okay. So like he'll take like certain moves, but like where it'll be like it'll, it'll be like cheap knockoffs. So uh, well, I'm trying to remember one that he does. I. Th Oh shit! What was it? Excuse me for a second. I gotta, I gotta relook it up. Um, oh, this is another thing you can go around and like. There, there have been captured people, so you gotta go set them free. And then, as as you capture more, you're able to do more stuff within like the kind of the staging area. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm Medina. I run a general goods store. Stop by for a look when you're in town. What does he do? Oh man, <laughs> it's been so long since I last played the game because they haven't re they haven't remade that game. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people didn't like it because of like the the battle royale function. Because what it is is like when you have multiple people playing and stuff, they make like two tiers of like two planes. So you fight in the front plane, or you can fight mm -hmm. in the back plane. And a lot of times when you fight in the back plane, you kind of see your character like ah. battling and shit. So it makes it difficult for people. Um. Yeah, I can't find anything right now. But essentially, what he does is, yeah, he just copies like the enemy, like other character special moves, but they're like all like cheap knockoffs. Like mm -hmm. he'll like launch like a like a little mean himself projectile or something like that, or where something's like a flamethrower. It's or, I think of it with Soul. Like he does this move where like he does like the the gun the gun flame. Mm -hmm. It's just like a traveling fire. I think he just has like a blowtorch or some shit like that. I don't know. Oh, nice. I I'm probably I'm probably one hundred percent wrong in that. Mm. But that's what I remember. Funky mask. But yeah, copying moves and stuff, that's that, that that's that's pretty cool when you just add it to your your fighting style. Yeah. Especially for an interesting game like this. And so yeah, somebody they it's been brought up was like, oh but what about like Kirby and, and Mega Man? He's like, Yeah, but it's the, it's not the same as those games. I mean it's 
the, the same sort of concept, but it's not a it's not the same in um uh, uh, circle. Well, cause okay, circle, with Kirby circle. with Kirby and Mega Man, it's you absorbing their powers as opposed to you copying like yeah their move, right? Because mm -hmm. in this one, what is it like? You just like you copy like Sorry, their type yeah. of strike. Is that what it there's is? There's a there's a some of them have techniques that you can. Okay. Let's take it for a ride. I forgot that this game so quickly got into a motorcycle. Uh, oh, it's the racing segment of uh, Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, basically. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> oh my yeah. god, it's 100%. Yeah. Can you move? Yeah, you can move around. Can you speed up? Can you slow down? Yep. Zach, you're not hitting anything. There you go. Ugh. Oh, you're bad at this. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> ah, there you go. Well, you can only fuck up so many times, right? I mean, yeah. <laughs> gotta learn eventually. I think I remember the first time I played this, I was like, uh, I think I was on this for like, I don't know, like five or ten minutes longer than it needed to be because I couldn't figure out how to... How to move? Not, not that, but... I don't know. That was like a part I was I was stuck on. I was like, I think later on there's a there's like a boss who like tossed stuff behind him. Oh, okay. And I was just having trouble hitting him. I think you've mentioned something like that to me before. Yeah. You're talking about. Cause I remember asking you about this game and I forgot. But mm -hmm. I yeah. think you had mentioned that. Jesus, oops, Jesus. Oops. Oops. Are you supposed to dodge that? Can you jump? It doesn't cost me any life, so I think it's fine. Oh, you're slowing down. That's not good. Unless the dam unless the motorcycle takes damage, but there's no indication that that's the case. No, I saw your health take damage, so that can't be it. Don't run into them. <laughs> eh. Come on. What is going on? Hmm. Oh there we go. Go on, Zach, fight him. I guess maybe the other thing that's kind of disappointing right now mm. is how dark it is. Yeah, it is. It is pretty dark. It's a little bit. It looks like it's a little bit brighter on the stream. Okay. Um, but I think our our TV just doesn't get up as as bright as it would be nice. I, I think I I definitely think it's the wiring. Because mm. again, like the hardware is old, that's all I ask, so that could definitely be it. Hmm. Yeah, endless, endless, endless tunnel segment. Endless tunnel segment. And bad, and boss. Bam. That's I the think, boss. I think this is the one. He, yeah, I think he like drops shit. Okay. Yeah, he is in front of you a lot. Yeah. Oh, what a dick! Whoa, whoa! Get him! Bat, 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 bat. Whoa! Ow. Remember, L one is defend. Yeah. You know, blocking the thing. You and I don't do. <laughs> <laughs> because why? <laughs> I just muscle my way through, right? Yeah. I mean, everything will be fine. Oh, that's that's one thing, too. Like, that was definitely... I mean, that's, def that's you know, how I play nice. games and shit, right? But, um... I, I'm not going to spoil anything, but the, the last boss, like, the main boss of the game, uh -huh. is... It's... I think you're, you you fight him, right? But then there's like a duel segment that actually ends the game that I couldn't okay. figure out for the longest fucking time. Okay. Um, and and nice you I, him. I, that was that was some of my first like hyper raging out on a game. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? And I think I looked it up, but the internet was still in in its infancy basically at that time. So it's like it sounds a lot like when people were trying to figure out how to beat um, Psycho Mantis. In uh, Metal Gear Solid. Oh, yeah, it had, yeah, yeah. It, had, it had something to do with, like, the memory card or, like, the controller. Checkpoint reached. Yeah. And whatnot. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? I mean, it that's that's it's very innovative. It's very interesting. Mm -hmm. but, but it's, it's just, also bullshit. <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, what the fuck is this nonsense? Mm -hmm. Oh, much obliged. Oh, that that is a very, uh, very not cool voice. <laughs> I, I always thought the, the cat voice was a little worse. 
<laughs> oh, hello, Musashi. <laughs> I mean, they're all pretty bad. You know, it's just like okay. that's st- that's stereotype. Just, okay, it's like super. Bad. But you know, but, at the same time, like I I I gotta tell myself it's just accent humor. Just get past it. Actually, maybe turn the light off. Oh, will that even that'll help? I think so. It could be. Neb- neb- nebulium Tower. Look at all the experience. You know what this kind of looks like right now? What's that? With all like... Good. With all like that oh, I... futuristic like like machinery and whatnot. Mm-hmm. It's, it's starting to look like a Sonic game. Jesus Christ, why is it so dark? I don't know. Um, is there... Do we adjust the, can we adjust the brightness on this? I think the brightness on the TV is adjusted all the way up, and I there's oh that's my options in the game itself are very limited. limited. Okay, well just do your best, whatever you can do. See, this is the darkness we needed in caves when we played Monster Hunter World, because <laughs> cave segments weren't nearly as dark as they're supposed to be. Actually, there's hardly oh, right. any cave segments. Oh, you gotta watch your health, by the way. Oh yeah. I think, I think they drop stuff though, like good health stuff. Ow! Jeez. <laughs> All right, everybody, come in. Ow! Jeez. Uh, what was the? Oh, that's not what I wanted. Fuck! What was? Zach, are you bad at this game? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I can't remember how to do the fucking. You remember how to do the? Uh, I wasn't paying attention. I was from. talking. Well, why were you talking, Reed, when you should have been paying attention? Or... Oh, please! This isn't my game. <laughs> You're the one who's showing me how it's done, so get with it. I'm certainly trying. Also, why don't you block? Maybe that'll help you. <laughs> I guess I could do that. Yeah, maybe, huh? You have no items to use. Is it? Uh, can, I only, can I only use it when the gauge is full? I think I can only use it when the gauge is full. The the, the maelstrom. Yeah. yeah. No, I thought I thought you could, I thought you can use it when uh, you had MP. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Isn't it like R one or something? Can I... Uh, try look under hints. Secret techniques. Try go. Try go out. Go under hints. Hints. Nope. That's prologue. That's quest. quest. Game tips. Book isn't sharp enough. That duplicate. Can I go up? Oh, no. Okay. Quests and gameplay tips. That's it. Okay. okay. Well, we've been marooned. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? Hey, wait. Try press long. one more time. Start. Go yeah. under um, options. What about a uh, check controller? Can you? Here we go. Unleash le- latent power. L two and triangle. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Thank you. See, that was that was, that was wicked smart of you, Ree. Yeah. Was that so hard, Zach? <laughs> <laughs> A little bit harder than I feel like I needed to be. Needed to be, yeah, exactly. Oh, but I'm still not doing so hot. Come on, dude. Yeah. We're only in the tutorial stage. <laughs> <laughs> I do like that, though. They're like freaking like cutting in half and shit. Mm hmm. Alright, kick his ass, sea bass. So your your goal right now is to save the princess. Is that it? Uh, yeah. Okay. Is that health? Was that health? I think Damn so. It. Yeah, a little bit. You do not get a whole lot of health. No, but I think they expect you to be play a little smarter. <laughs> <laughs> Who do they expect us to be? Oops. Listen. Block. Oh 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 oh. Oh. I was son trying of to bitch. use latent power. I think I don't have enough though. Yeah, I don't have enough. Zach, I think I could have told you that. Shit, I'm sorry, that was my fault. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Small bit of help. Yes. Wish you got more, though. Yeah. I think these are not enemies. Oh, please, somebody that's good at health. Health! Yeah! Watch out! 
Guarding is your friend. <laughs> Ow. Guarding is your friend. <laughs> <laughs> Coins. Stay over there. No, I don't want coins, I want health. I mean, I do want coins, but I want health instead. The fucking the damn camera is inverted. Oh, is it? It's, I thought that's, you adjusted that's it already. That's screw me. I thought you adjusted the, in, the inversion. No, I, I can't really do that individually. They've got, like, type A and type B. Oh. Um, yeah, type B is probably the, probably the reverse version. It's, it's, like, standard. I'll have to double check. Give it a shot. There's no enemies. Well, there's an enemy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's more. <laughs> oh, you're surrounded. <laughs> the only way through is forward. Ah! Just, just stop fooling around. <laughs> <laughs> Quit screwing around. Wow. You got a good chunk of your health back. You got like a third of it. Yeah. Alright, so stop digging around, finish them off, and then, yeah, now check. As soon as you kill that guy behind him, too. Damn it! Oh, Stop they keep spawning! They keep popping out of the snow like daisies. Did I ever ask you? Did you watch ever? Did you ever watch Lone Wolf and Cub? Um, the like the old movies. Yeah. Uh, no, no, I don't think I did. I mean, I know about the series, like the um, what is it called? The movies? Or I mean, the I know the manga. I know they had a manga for it. Yeah. Stuff. But I remember, I remember the, I remember the movies. Mm -hmm. I used to watch them with my dad all the time. Mm -hmm. Also, like you know, because it's one of those movies that's like, it's definitely not meant for kids. So they had like that obscene amount of like blood splatter, and then like there was there's quite a bit of nudity and stuff. Mm -hmm. But like I was just like I didn't care about any of that. The thing that I liked the most about it was just watching like um, I I, I just like that baby cart that he made. Yeah. And stuff. And, like, all the neat gadgets it had. Oh, yeah. Like, the, all the spears and the knives and the stuff that were just hidden in it. Like, yeah, like, it's like, fuck yeah. That was, like, so, it was so freaking cool. Yeah. Shit. Awesome. Who is the actor who played, um... Ow. Lone Wolf. What's his name? Um... Excuse me one minute... Tomi Saburo Wakayama. Oh, that's his name. That's a mouthful. Yeah, but yeah, I just remember him, and then I'm just like, <laughs> he was such a, he was like such a badass. Mm-hmm. Like, I think I watched. I'm pretty sure I watched all the movies with with my dad and stuff. But it was one of those things where like, when it, I think like the last movie, it ends with like the main villain like running away. Like he he gets away. And I think there, I think it was like the snow. I think it was like the snow, like snow movie, where like they're sledding down, like the, like the baby carriage turns into a sled. Oh really? And yeah, it, it, there's a sled, and like everybody has like a sled. Ah, oh, bitch! Uh, where? <sighs> Couldn't see. It's so dark. It is dark, but that's actually a good stopping point. Yeah. What do you think? Another where episode? Where I come from? Oh yeah, I'm okay. Definitely. So how about we, how about we take a break right here, because you're in a good spot. I'll set him free. Yeah. All right, but yeah, thanks everybody for watching. Oh God, I love this game. Um, so, uh, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on TikTok and Instagram, and we'll see you next time. What's the name for TikTok and Instagram? Samurai Legend Musashi. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> uh, no, use guys on TikTok and Instagram. So thanks everybody. Mm-hmm.